For those of you out there that saw our video on the 10 most dangerous cities in America, and you're wondering why we're doing another video on the same topic, well, we're actually not. In that video, we focused on the 10 cities with populations over 100,000 that had the highest overall crime rates in the nation per 100,000 residents of those cities. And when we say overall, we're talking property and violent crimes along with homicides. But in this video, we're focusing only on those cities with the most homicides. Specifically, the top 20 out of the largest 75 cities in the nation with the most homicides per capita per 100,000 residents. Also, as we stated in that previous video, we are well aware that because it is the poster child for violence in America, some will argue that Chicago should be higher on this list. But as we pointed out, Chicago, and we're not talking about the metro area here, folks, but the city of Chicago itself is the third largest city in the nation with nearly 3 million residents, which is at least 2 million more than some cities on this list. So, of course, their numbers are higher because of the greater number of residents. And because this isn't a list based off of who has the most murders, but the most murders per capita, by these standards, the United States is the murder capital among advanced developed countries with a homicide rate of 7.8%. And unfortunately, some of its cities dwarf this high average and even top war-torn underdeveloped nations. However, most of the cities on here are acclaimed in and of themselves for one thing or another. And as such, this isn't a list reflecting all of the residents or the entirety of these cities but more so, a list representing the type of situations that can and do occur in disenfranchised areas and thanks to extreme circumstances. Now, let's have a look. Number 20, Las Vegas, Nevada. Population, 634,786. In March 1947, the Flamingo Hotel and Casino Las Vegas' first major complex of this industry opened under the direction of the famous mobster, Bugsy Siegel. Shortly after, Bugsy was found dead, and his alleged murderers and investors of the Flamingo then took over and ran it going forward. The following years saw numerous mobsters follow in Siegel's footsteps by buying up land and developing dozens of casinos into what would become known as the Las Vegas Strip. Those were the beginnings of modern Las Vegas roots, buried in criminal activity and conspiracies to the point where the government had to step in in the late 1950s and early 60s to fight against the corruption in the city. Even today, Las Vegas has a reputation as a sin city where people the world over go for a let loose vacation that involves shotgun weddings and over the top nightlife and events that the city suggests you never mention again. Recent years have seen city officials attempting to battle an uptick in gang violence, especially violence that includes the use of firearms. Well, much of the city's tourism is centered around Las Vegas Boulevard, Fremont Street, and the Strip. This is also where most of the violence occurs. And though much of it is gang-related, tourists can also make easy targets for muggings gone wrong. And despite official attempts to remove the city from lists like these, Las Vegas is most likely not going anywhere anytime soon. In 2022, Sin City had a total of 146 homicides and a murder rate of 22 per 100,000 residents. Number 19, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Population, 303,207. In the 19th century, Pittsburgh firmly asserted itself as the home of industrial Americana, earning such monikers as the Iron City, the Smoky City, and now, as it is most commonly known, the Steel City. It also plays host to all of the top black and yellow athletic teams like the Steelers, Pirates, and the Penguins, as well as several respected collegiate institutions like Carnegie Mellon University and the University of Pittsburgh. Unfortunately, the city has also played host to a number of criminal groups, disenfranchised areas that promote violence and increased murder rates that the city has been fighting hard to bring down in recent years. The end of 2022 saw an outcry from citizens and law enforcement 
that resulted in Pittsburgh officials promising to significantly increase funding for non-police-related public safety measures. In 2022, the city had 71 homicides. While this may not seem like that large of a number to some, the murder rate for the city equates to an unfortunate 23 per 100,000 residents. Number 18, Indianapolis, Indiana. Population, 880,104. In 1909, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway opened with the purpose of testing the vehicles of local manufacturers. And while the automobile industry didn't last in the city, the fast-paced mentality did after the city saw its first race there in 1911. Now, the city is known as the racing capital of the U.S., playing host to the Indianapolis 500, NASCAR, Formula One, and numerous others. And as fast and hard as the city kept going, so did its people. While modern Indianapolis is famous for being home to racing culture, the local population knows its gang culture probably even better. Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett was granted $150 million from the American Recovery Plan Act, and while he promises to spend $45 million of that over three years to go to anti-violence programs and police support, it appears that a good majority of the money will be going towards cleaning up the parts of the city where crime runs rampant and into community outreach programs. By attacking the root of the problem, Mayor Hogsett hopes to lower the city's 210 homicides in 2022 and murder rate of 23 per 100,000 residents. Number 17, Toledo, Ohio. Population, 271,454. Toledo is a beautiful Midwestern city that grew through its industrial efforts in the automobile and glass sectors. Visitors to the city can see the shores of Lake Erie, visit several microbreweries and restaurants, or experience a more cultural experience at the Toledo Museum of Art. While the city itself holds a fairly meek population, the city is also home to an estimated 30 to 37 separate gangs, which have caused large murder numbers for such a small city. As of this video, the year of 2023 has already seen 11 deaths in the city of Toledo, with half of them being minors. In 2022, the city reported 66 murders, which was preceded with a record-breaking 70 deaths in 2021. While officials of the Glass City have been trying to contain the waves of gang violence, methods to do so have been divisive at best. Some city council members have been trying to propose bills with the assistance of grassroots organizations. Others are trying to push more forceful methods such as increased police funding. Well, both methods do have support if city officials don't find a way to meet in the middle and jointly oppose gang operations. Toledo's murder rate of 24 per 100,000 residents is likely to increase. Number 16, Buffalo, New York. Population, 276,011. Despite only having a population of around 276,000, Buffalo is known as the Queen City because it is the second largest in the state of New York. It's placed right on the shores of Lake Erie and not too far from the natural wonder of Niagara Falls. It also hosts two of the state's best-known athletic teams, the Buffalo Bills and the Buffalo Sabres. Unfortunately, the city has also garnered a reputation as one of the nation's highest murder capitals by the early 1990s. This led officials to launch the Weed and Seed Initiative in 1997, which is still ongoing today. This initiative targets the violent, heavy areas of the city by forcefully going after the criminals and trying to tear out the roots and thereafter, effectively planting new seeds in the community through outreach programs and neighborhood cleanups. Though gang violence is still heavy in Buffalo, initiatives like this have decreased the murder rates in recent years. And in 2022, Buffalo police increased foot patrols in crime-heavy areas as a new method 
to build relations with locals and deter potential violent crimes. With any hope, despite gang violence and the city's 62 homicides in 2022, these methods will continue to lower its high murder rate of 24 per 100,000 residents. Number 15. Cincinnati, Ohio. Population 308,664. Cincinnati is another relatively small city with a culture all its own. The city's famous breweries, 19th century buildings, and the Great American Ballpark, which houses the Cincinnati Reds, will leave any tourist feeling like they've experienced genuine Americana without the usual feel of an overcrowded metropolis. But for the locals, they've experienced a spike in recent years of gun violence and murders that leave them afraid for their community. The most unfortunate part about the spike, which raised already high murder numbers in the city, is that minors seem to play a large part in it both as the victims and the perpetrators. In 2020, three children in Cincinnati were charged with murder, but 2021 saw that number increase to 13. 2022 and now 2023 have followed suit with almost unbelievable cases making the news, such as the trial of a 16-year-old who had taken part in multiple murder-for-hire schemes between 2021 and 2022 that left four people dead. Outreach efforts like the Youth Advocate Programs have attempted to fill in the gap in education and supervision that was created by the pandemic, while city officials have tried to forcefully crack down on gun violence through the Crime Gun Intelligence Center and through proposed gun regulations. As it stands, however, the city of Cincinnati, Ohio, saw 78 homicides in 2022 and holds a staggering murder rate of 25 per 100,000 residents. Number 14, Louisville, Kentucky. Population, 630,260. To baseball fans, Louisville is synonymous with bats. To liquor lovers, the city means hometown bourbon like Evan Williams. And to animal or speed lovers, the Kentucky Derby is the ultimate combination of the two worlds. Truly, this city has something for everyone, including, unfortunately, between 20 to 25 neighborhood-based gangs. These neighborhood gangs have been terrorizing their local communities by dealing everything from drugs to weapons and using the streets of Louisville as their battlegrounds. While nonprofit organizations like Game Changers have been doing work in these communities to try and promote education, parental involvement, and overall growth opportunities, there were still 400 gun-related injuries and 160 homicides in 2022, many of which involved the members of these very communities. Despite groups like Moms Demand Action trying to push for gun control in the state, many state officials have put in equal efforts to minimize gun laws, even to go as far to undermine federal firearm regulations in a recently passed nullification bill. With state officials making zero attempts to regulate firearms and shootings becoming regular, including an April 10, 2023 bank shooting by an employee that resulted in five dead and at least eight more injured, the dangerously high murder rate of 26 per 100,000 residents in Louisville is only sure to increase. Number 13, Chicago, Illinois. Population, 2,742,119. The Windy City is home to approximately 2.7 million people, and of that number, it is estimated that around 100,000 are in some form of gang, which are divided into about 55 known gangs, each with hundreds of factions and thousands of subsets. While Chicago has gained love from many because of its athletic teams like the Bulls, Bears, Cubs, and White Sox, the city has also gained a formidable reputation that's apparent in its other nickname, Chirac. Since the Prohibition days that saw the gangsters like Al Capone take charge of the city, it has long played home to gun violence and a culture that fuels itself notably in the west and south sides of the city. 
while many Chicago officials attribute the gang affiliations as the root cause of the issue. Many others in the city believe the problem to be gun-related and don't believe that change can occur until the real issue is dealt with. The Chicago PD have been removing an average of 29 guns per day from the streets in an effort to bring down the violence. But the city still saw 697 murders in 2022. These numbers continued into 2023, with 37 homicides in February alone and an overall murder rate of 26 per 100,000 residents. Number 12, Oakland, California. Population, 437,548. Oakland has always had a reputation as a dangerous American city, being the breeding ground for a lot of street violence that hit a peak in the 1980s and 90s with the introduction of crack cocaine into the communities. This all culminated in 2012, when public outcry created Oakland's Operation Ceasefire, an operation that spent a lot of individual time with community members likely to fall into the gang culture and on outreach programs to create a link between the communities and officers in the city. Through the 2010s, this did result in decreased violent crime in the city, prompting some to dub the effect of the Oakland miracle. Unfortunately, the recent pandemic, for a multitude of reasons that could be debated forever, prompted increased waves of violent crime in Oakland, and in 2021, for the first time in a decade, the city had housed 100 murders. Then, in September of 2022, a series of nine murders in nine days sparked further outcry for action by Oakland police to increase their force in gang-heavy areas. Though some in the city feel that this increase in police activity will further deter violent crimes, others who are old enough are reminded of increased civilian police tensions that culminated into the riots in the early 90s. Hopefully, the former are right, and Oakland can lower the 113 homicides of 2022 and its murder rate of 28 per 100,000 residents. Number 11, Washington, D.C. Population, 683,154. Washington, D.C. was established in 1790, with the express purpose of serving as the capital for the newly made nation of the United States of America. In the over 230 years since, the White House has become home to every president since Adams, and monuments like the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument remind visitors to the city of its original purpose. Meanwhile, the city has played host to some of the most iconic moments in American history, including the 1963 Freedom March, the 1967 Vietnam protest, and the recent 2021 Capitol riots that resulted in the tragic loss of five people. The city has also played host in recent years to a higher than average murder rate. Much of the violence in DC has been attributed to gang violence with multiple local street gangs in the city that fight for control. In 2022, with its 203 homicides, Washington, D.C. saw over 200 murders for the third straight year. While police have attempted to crack down on gun violence, the efforts seem fruitless, as the city holds a whopping murder rate of 30 per 100,000 residents. Number 10. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Population, 1,596,865. The home of America's historic foundation, Philadelphia, has a long history that is still present in the modern city. People from all over go to Philly every year to see Independence Hall, the Franklin Institute, and the Liberty Bell. Meanwhile, the city's nickname, the City of Brotherly Love, promises visitors a kind of welcoming experience at a place where the locals love their neighbors and respect each other. Yet, this isn't the reputation that Philadelphia has gained over the years, especially not to the locals, who've become increasingly afraid for their communities 
and exhausted with the city officials' inability to deal with the high murder rates in the city. In 2022, Philadelphia saw 516 homicides, most of which were firearm-related, and 2023 hasn't seen much improvement with the reported 118 homicides in the city so far this year, as of the middle of April. When you also add on the 1,800 non-fatal shootings that Philly saw in 2022, it's no wonder why so many Philadelphians have taken to protesting the ineffectual leadership and gun control methods in the city. Instead, organizations like the Anti-Violence Partnership of Philadelphia have spent years trying to clean up their city through outreach efforts and local communities. However, if the city officials don't do something soon, Philly's current murder rate of 33 per 100,000 residents isn't likely to go down. Number 9. Kansas City, Missouri Population 508,394 Whether you're into football, baseball, or old-fashioned southern barbecue washed down with a craft beer, Kansas City, Missouri is the place to go. Or it would be if the city wasn't squashing murder records for three years consecutively. This seems to be a unique case compared to others on this list, because while the citizens have been crying out for a stop to the gun violence plaguing them, so have the city officials and officers. In the case of Kansas City, the resistance seems to be at the state level, with Missouri officials generally supporting lackadaisical gun regulations and oftentimes not hearing out the pleas of the city. Officers in the city worry that soon their numbers will be less than 1,100 trying to protect and serve a population of around 500,000. And while they have been asking for increased funding, it's reported that the officers they do have on duty are underpaid and often find job better opportunities in better funded and less violent areas. Citizens of Kansas City have even taken it upon themselves to found organizations like KC Mothers in Charge to protest the gun laws in the state, while city organizations like Aim for Peace look to reverse the violence that has long plagued the city. Despite these efforts, though, there were 167 homicides in the city in 2022, and 2023 has seen a continuation of the same, with one week in March seeing eight homicides alone. Overall, Kansas City's murder rate stands firmly at 33 per 100,000 residents and may even increase unless state officials are willing to do something. Number 8. Atlanta, Georgia. Population 492,204. The beautiful southern peach of Atlanta, Georgia is the home to Coca-Cola, the world's busiest airport, and a hip-hop culture that the city takes immense pride in. Some of the biggest names in the industry, including T.I., Future, Gucci Mane, Mikos, and Young Jeezy have come out of Atlanta. But as much as the city takes pride in that hip-hop culture, it was also bred from much of the same roots as the violence that plagues Atlanta. Disenfranchised areas that create the beautiful sound also create hostile environments where people resort to any means necessary to survive. In total, police estimate at least 50,000 gang members are active in the state, with much of those numbers focused around the greater Atlanta area. For three straight years, homicides in Atlanta have increased with a total of 170 being committed in 2022. Officials in the city have even attempted to tie in many notable rappers, such as Young Thug, with gangs using RICO charges to clump all the crimes as joint organizations, making the connection between the music and the violent culture apparent, despite many musicians not representing those more abhorrent values. Unfortunately, officials in the city don't seem to be able to get a handle on the violence, and the murder rate in Atlanta now sits at a high 34 per 100,000 residents. Number 7. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Population 578,198. Possibly the most famous beer capital of America, 
Milwaukee wholly embraces this identity, with even the city's baseball team being named the Brewers. Its beautiful, light-colored historic buildings have also given Milwaukee the moniker of the Cream City. Since 2020, however, the city has also been garnering a name as a murder capital. The last couple of years have seen the ATF, FBI, and Milwaukee PD perform joint operations and investigations to tackle the gang and gun-related violence plaguing the city. In 2022 alone, Milwaukee saw 214 homicides, and though much of it has been credited to gang violence, city officials also believe that simple conflicts and arguments, assisted with easy access to guns, attribute largely as well. They also say that domestic violence also plays a part in the numbers, which only worsened during the recent pandemic. Even though the police have received increased funding in recent years to tackle the issue, many in Milwaukee believe this isn't the answer and beg officials for more moves like the 2017 Blueprint for Peace, which aimed to remove guns from the streets and provide more opportunities for youth in the city. Meanwhile, organizations like Peace for Change Alliance and 414 Life believe that the changes in their community will only come once the focus is put on public health and community outreach tactics. But either way, unless Milwaukee finds some way to make progress in the violent crime and gun control areas, its current murder rate of 38 per 100,000 residents won't be likely to decrease. Number 6. Cleveland, Ohio. Population 374,861. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is famous the world over as both a tourist destination for those visiting Cleveland and a goal for many people who pick up a guitar or a microphone. Also, being a powerhouse in sports with teams like the Cavaliers and the Browns, Cleveland has dominated Midwestern headlines for decades. Insanely enough, though, the city is also home to five jails and prisons, despite only having a population of around 375,000, creating a large gang culture in the city, both inside and outside of incarceration. Cleveland streets are paved with multiple street-level gangs, that are intermittently supported by larger ones with national connections. City officials have even made comparisons between Cleveland and Los Angeles for their gang-related activity and blatant attacks in broad daylight. In January of 2023, city officials were meeting with representatives from the U.S. Marshal's office in hopes of forming joint operations with local police, as well as granting increased funding for local law enforcement. So far though, all methods have proved ineffective. As recently as the end of March, reports of multiple attacks during one weekend left three dead, nine shot, and multiple others hospitalized. In 2022, there were 168 homicides in the city and currently, Cleveland holds an appalling murder rate of 46 per 100,000 residents, and it will most likely continue increasing for the foreseeable future. Number 5. Memphis, Tennessee. Population 628,127. Another must-stop for any traveling music lover, Memphis, Tennessee has a rich history filled with great names like W.C. Handy, the father of blues, and Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. Music is so embedded into the city's history that about 20% of all Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees have been born within 100 miles of Memphis. Unfortunately, those stats are overshadowed by the city's gang statistics. In Memphis, there are an estimated 13,400 members of 102 gangs that are currently active. These gangs are majorly responsible for the city consistently ranking in the top five of most dangerous American cities, regardless of the parameters set. 
Recent years have seen city officials from task forces like the Fugitive Unit, the now deactivated Scorpion Unit, and the Gun Crimes Unit to battle violent crimes and gang activity, but to no avail. The first 87 days of 2023 saw no less than 90 homicides, which is even higher than the reported homicides per Memphis at the same time last year, which ended with a total of 288 murders. Continuing on a downward violent spiral, the city has a murder rate of 46 per 100,000 residents, with no viable solution to the crisis in sight. Number 4. Detroit, Michigan. Population, 645,658. Under pioneers like Henry Ford, Detroit gained a reputation as the motor city in the 20th century, and its economy boomed thanks to its automotive and manufacturing industries. But then it gained a second reputation as a failed metropolis, full of rundown neighborhoods, corrupt politics, and, as has been an unfortunate reoccurring theme today, gang violence. The gangs in Detroit have become so commonplace that recent years have seen joint efforts with ATF's Special Operations Division, which is on loan to Detroit, removing an average of 500 guns per month from the streets. Gang members of groups like Seven Mile Bloods, the Six Mile Cheta and Latin Counts and hundreds of others terrorize the very streets they grew up on. And despite officials' attempts to rein in violence in Detroit, the city experienced 309 homicides in 2022 with a murder rate of 49 per 100,000 residents. Number 3. Baltimore, Maryland. Population 592,211. Baltimore is a beautifully historic Bay City that has something for everyone, whether you're into boating culture or sports. World-famous athletic teams like the Ravens and the Orioles have brought commerce and pride into the communities for years. But unfortunately, much of the revenue generated by the athletic stadiums and historic sites is usually reinvested into the higher-end parts of the city and gentrified areas. Meanwhile, areas that have seen disenfranchisement dating back to the segregation-generated racial policies over the years have been left to rot by the city. This left entire neighborhoods needing to look after themselves, creating street gangs for some form of solidarity and protection. Tensions created by the divide between these neighborhoods and officers culminated in the riots, looting, and city lockdowns following Freddie Gray's death in 2015. Today, many of the tourist areas are relatively safe, but the disenfranchised neighborhoods still see regular gang activity in record numbers. Homicide numbers in Baltimore have hit a minimum of 300 per year since 2015, with 335 in 2022, and only continue into 2023, with 79 being reported by the middle of April. The city's continued turmoil is apparent, with its murder rate of 59 per 100,000 residents. Number 2. St. Louis, Missouri. Population, 293,310. St. Louis, Missouri is a bright and vibrant city that is full of life. Whether taking a ride down the serene Mississippi River, sightseeing the historical French colonial architecture, or visiting the world-renowned Gateway Arch, you could spend days touring the amazing city. But as we've seen in other segments today, that past was also mired in controversy and disenfranchisement for certain areas of the city creating many gang-related and criminal concerns for the citizens of St. Louis. For years, the city was the murder capital of the U.S., until it was beaten in 2022 by our number one entry, which we will soon be covering next. Last year alone, St. Louis had 200 murders in the city, despite hosting a population of just over 290,000. Recognizing the issue in 2022, city officials formed the Office of Violence Prevention, which focuses 
on the appropriate spending of government funds in areas that will actually make neighborhoods in the city safer. Through this office, the city utilizes programs like community violence intervention and the Cure Violence Initiative in hopes to reduce gun violence and promote community growth. Even community members in St. Louis have gotten involved by creating the Public Safety Enforcement Group in coordination with local officers. Citizens, officers, and outreach programs are working in collaboration with follow-ups from members of groups like Wraparound Wellness Centre in hopes of fixing the problem by curing the community and its murder rate of 68 per 100,000 residents. Number 1. New Orleans, Louisiana population 378,861. Every year, thousands of people travel to New Orleans just to partake in the Mardi Gras celebration that planted its roots all the way back in 1699. The parade, the beads, and the chaotic party that is Bourbon Street have made the city a point on most Americans' bucket lists for years. But 2023, saw concerns for the safety of citizens during the celebration grow as an undermanned and underfunded police department tried to prepare for it. After being named the murder capital of the United States, New Orleans is now in the watchful eye of many going forward. While much of the crime is gang-related, the city's gangs tend to be less organized and even more dangerous than those of other cities especially in their neighborhoods where they have full control. In 2022, there were 280 homicides in the city, which is more than New Orleans has seen since pre-Katrina. As we've seen with nearly all of our previous entries, disenfranchised areas that are economically overlooked tend to breed desperation and violence. And with the understaffed police departments, Officers can generally only focus on crime response and tourist-heavy areas where petty crimes are more frequent. This weak funding of government programs is sure to only make matters worse here, as special task forces and outreach programs are unable to be supported in the city. Unless serious change is made, New Orleans' staggering murder rate of 74 per 100,000 residents is only likely to keep going up.